Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing well. Okay, what have we got today? Today, I was gonna talk about, a very quick talk about deep squats. Now, I know a lot of people advocate deep squats, that, that point where your quads are parallel to the ground or deeper, and basically look at the pros and cons, whether you need to go that deep or, or not. Now, if you do perform deep squats, you will get more muscle activation. But here's the thing, if you are familiar with deep squats, you perform squats to that depth, and you have done since you were young, then the chances are you will be fine as you get older. Your anatomy will have been used to that position. If you have never performed deep squats, and you start to learn them at an older age, again, I'm saying old, it's all relative, then the chances are that your pelvis and your anatomy is nicely positioned and happy in, in, a, in a particular position. And if you start to try and perform deeper than you would ordinarily go, it can lead to lots of issues. It can lead to uh, tilted pelvis, it could lead to back issues with your discs, it could lead to piriformis syndrome. And the question is that, that I guess you, you have to consider is, is it worth it? I don't think it will be such a massive determinant in your life if you can't perform a super deep squat. The line I'm, uh, I'm going with here is that if you're young and you've done deep squats, then you will probably be fine in your older years. If you've never done deep squats in your youth and you try to start doing them when you're older, for my money, for my advice, I wouldn't try it. I wouldn't bother doing it because the advantages versus the disadvantages, it doesn't feel worth it to me for that extra little bit of mobility for the risk of these other conditions. So very quick one there, but I just wanted to get that out. I might have said before, we've got some good intermediate workouts coming very soon. So I will see you in the next video.